Aircraft carrier is a symbol of naval power for a country, and considered the most valuable sea-based military asset. It also offers unparalleled military instrument that can project tactical air power over long distances. Fundamentally, the carrier is an airfield at sea with many special features to facilitate takeoffs and landings in aircraft. It hence made sense to have such an aircraft carriers, which would give a country presence on international waters away from their own international boundaries. An aircraft carrier has a large size. With its size came other problems. Can the aircraft carriers keep themselves away from the enemy fire? Can they move fast if they are needed elsewhere? And do aircraft carriers really need speed? According to Wiki, as of December 2022, there are 47 active aircraft carriers in the world operated by 14 navies. So what is the fastest aircraft carrier in the world? Yes, the USS Enterprise. The USS Enterprise was the longest aircraft carrier ever built, and first nuclear-powered one. No other aircraft carrier in the past, present, or planned in the future is as long as this one. At 1,123 feet, it was not only the longest ship, but also the largest in terms of displacement during its time. On the latter was it succeeded by the larger Nimitz and Ford class aircraft carriers but larger in terms of displacement and not in length. That record still stays with the USS Enterprise. There was one more, and that was the speed. It was still fastest aircraft carrier of its time, and will probably be the fastest of all time. It is indeed surprising that, at its displacement, it was still faster than the USS Wisconsin battleship that half its size. The USS Enterprise has top speed 33.6 knots or 38.66 miles per hour or 62.24 kilometers per hour, sustained speed 30 knots or 34.52 miles per hour or 55.57 kilometers per hour, while the top speed of the USS Wisconsin is 33 knots or 37.95 miles per hour or 61.1 kilometers per hour with displacement only 58,400 tons at full load. How does it compare to the speed of other carriers? Nimitz class aircraft carrier has top speed 30 plus knots or 34.52 miles per hour or 55.57 kilometers per hour. Sustained speed 25 knots or 28.77 miles per hour or 46.31 kilometers per hour with displacement 97,000 tons at full load. Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier has top speed 30 knots or 34.52 miles per hour or 55.57 kilometers per hour. Sustained speed same as top speed with displacement 100,000 tons at full load. Royal Navy's Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carrier has top speed 25 knots or 29 miles per hour or 46 kilometers per hour. Sustained speed 20 knots or 23 miles per hour or 37.18 kilometers per hour with displacement 65,000 tons at full load. Russian Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier has top speed 30 knots or 36.81 miles per hour or 59.28 kilometers per hour. Sustained speed 29 knots or 33.36 miles per hour or 53.71 kilometers per hour with displacement 58,600 tons at full load. Chinese Liaoning aircraft carriers has top speed 32 knots or 36.81 miles per hour or 59.28 kilometers per hour sustained speed 29 knots or 33.36 miles per hour or 53.71 kilometers per hour with displacement 58,000 tons Brazil Sao Paulo aircraft carrier has top speed 32 knots or 36.81 miles per hour 
or 59.28 km per hour, sustained speed 18 knots or 20.71 miles per hour or 33.34 km per hour with displacement only 32,800 tons at full load. Indian ENS Vikramaditya aircraft carrier has top speed 30 plus knots or 34.52 miles per hour or 55.57 km per hour, sustained speed 28 knots or 32.22 miles per hour or 51.87 km per hour, with displacement 45,400 tons at full load. Italian aircraft carrier has top speed 29 plus knots or 33.37 miles per hour or 53.72 km per hour, sustained speed 24.65 knots or 28.36 miles per hour or 45.67 km per hour, with displacement 33,000 tons at full load. French Navy's Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier has top speed 27 knots or 31 miles per hour or 50 km per hour. Sustained speed 20 knots or 23 miles per hour or 37.18 km per hour with displacement 42,500 tons at full load. So, how the USS Enterprise speed can be so amazing? USS Enterprise was the first ever aircraft carrier to be nuclear powered. Eight reactors were installed with two powering each of the four propellers. Ladder carriers only had two reactors. It was also the first time two nuclear reactors were harnessed together, as they had only been used individually before. It remains the longest naval vessel ever at 1,123 feet and, at the time, was the biggest ship ever to set sail in the US Navy. If Enterprise was stood on its end, it would be taller than the Shard in London. When the USS Enterprise was deactivated on 1 December 2012, it had notched up even more records and cemented its place in US naval history. In 1974, the first F-14 Tomcats to enter operational service flew off its deck. On April 29, 1986, it became the first ever nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to transit the Suez Canal. The USS Enterprise aircraft carrier is one of the amazing carrier ever built.